Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the adventures of Cared Larray. Alright, last we left off, we were about to explore the underground area of the Firewine Bridge. That should prove interesting. At least I hope it, hope it does anyway. And hopefully not too painful. But, uh, who knows. Alright, we're all set. Let's get going. Alright, now this place has nasty Dungeon of Death written all over it, so... Invisibility for Imowen. She's gonna... Oh, she needs to equip herself some arrows. There we go. Get her sword ready so she doesn't unwittingly attack someone. Get her to start detecting traps. And get uh, Dying here to cast Invisibility on her. Alright, Imowen. Time to go be a hero. Whole bunch of kobolds. Hmm, it's empty. Hmm. Oh, or just absorb the traps with their face. Not the intent. Oh, that seems to make a sound, but thankfully the invisibility seems to be uh, concealing her location. Hmm. Maybe she could be sneaky about it if she can isolate some of these kobolds. I don't know. Alright. She could take out this one really quick. Like that. And then hide. The other one doesn't know where she went. Probably around the corner somewhere. Come around. And get rid of him. Ouch. The trap. Damn traps. Now this is the kind of dungeon where being a thief is really useful, considering there's so many hallways to hide in. Alright, we're gonna heal her. You can't do that on invisible people, huh? Alright, well, we have plenty of spare healing potions somewhere, don't we? Thought we did. Here we go, and just give one of these to Emma and she can gulp it. That shouldn't break her invisibility. I'm gone. No, that doesn't break it at all. Alright, you can check the bodies. Ooh, magical arrows. Oh, give me a break. Minsk. Alright, apparently I have to drop something. Or give something to someone else. There you go. Now she should be able to pick up magical arrows. Get that ready. Hide in shadows. Okay. Another enemy. And you're dead. Yeah, it's kind of funny. And yeah, she's all, oh, hi, I'm Imo, and I'm so cute. You know, I'm just gonna backstab some kobolds to death. Doing 27 <laughs> damage. <laughs> oh, it's just brutal and completely inconsistent. Um, hmm. Well, there's a, a three in here. She obviously can't do that by herself. I mean, I guess she could, but it would be dangerous. I mean, I really don't want to put Emma in harm's way. Oh, shoot. Hide and shadows failed. Oh, trying again. Come on, Emma you can do it. And she can't search for traps while hiding in shadows because of the limits of this game engine. Or at least the way that this game was designed, anyway. I don't know whether the Infinity Engine can do both. I'm not sure. I know in Neverwinter Nights they designed it to where you can do both at the same time. Search and look for traps. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Now these kobolds seem to have fire arrows, so this is going to be a bit dangerous. So it actually might make sense if we use the, a linear line. Well, just because of the sheer narrowness of the passage. A line formation. Who's got the best armor class? Oddly enough, Jahira. And she can also heal herself and is fast. So I guess we'll just charge the room with her. And just try to bridge the gap before they can freaking do anything at all. Like shoot fire arrows at her. Charge, charge, charge! Get them engaged in melee. Look out, Minsk. Come on. 
Keep going. Come on, take him out. It's one freaking kobold. What did it? Go Ryan with proud your actions. All right, Emwin. Time to take their fire arrows because their short swords and their short bows just aren't valuable enough to really be worth dragging around. And we got a quick save just so we can stop the ridiculous battle music that plays unceasingly. Okay. Oh, right in front of her. I imagine she can take one of these by herself. Yeah, six damage and it's already nearly dead. Come on, Emuin, you can take her. Take a swing. Plus two for its attack, plus two for yours. Oh, I'm sure she'll get it. Come on, Emuin. Roll high. Roll high. There you go. And we're gonna quick save again because apparently the battle music never stops. Okay. Maybe she's. Wait, didn't Dine here prepare that spell to protect from normal arrows? Uh, no, she didn't. And even if she did, it wouldn't help against the fire arrows, unfortunately. And right, we're gonna take our time and check for traps because that's what smart people do. Yeah, one right there. We're gonna try to yeah, get rid of that. These hallway maze-like dungeons, I mean, they're just trap central. In general, they are. I mean, this is very first edition, this kind of dungeon. And if you ever look through the old books, they're all very much like this. Very maze-like, all kinds of tunnels. Nothing particularly remarkable between... Oh, snap. Well, that fireball's about to blow up in her face. Is there anything she can do other than run for her life? Uh, nope. I've Give it a shot, Emwin. Boom! Ouch. Well, at least she survived it. So that's nice. Yeah. Emwin's like, I'm hurting! Please help me! <laughs> Chihira. <laughs> Oh, at least she made her reflex save, didn't she? Oh no, she didn't. She took both. Sorry, Emwin. Better luck next time. Oh no, it would be a save versus spell, I think. Yeah, not a save versus uh, reflex. I think in third edition, this is second. Where there's five types of saves, and they're based off of the type of attack. Rather than anything else. I bet... Let's just run around a... Oh. There actually appears to be an entrance over here. Uh, ow! Come on. These traps in these freaking dead-end hallways. That's just the cruelty right there is what that is. Yeah, welcome back, Emwin. Shahir's got you. Alright. Well, there seems to be an entrance out this way. Let's try to take it. Gather your party before venturing forth. Ah. So saith Michael David Richardson. An open wound in Mother Earth is good as done. I would plug it had I the power, says Jahira. I am God. Alright, Emwin. I guess we can just keep going. I mean, we could go there, up here, there. We can go this way. Or we could try to go down this awful fireball alley. Trap fest of a hallway that's probably a dead end as well. Oh, what do you know? Uh, no, it doesn't lead anywhere at all. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're going to save so Emwin doesn't die horribly. Setting off a trap that she just happens to miss. It's always areas like that. I bet there's a trap somewhere up here. Bet you a hundred gold. We're gonna advance very slowly and cautiously. Oh, traps. 
traps. Hmm. Hallway. Well, I'm sure this goes on for quite a while, so there's really... Th not including the exit, there's three different ways we could go. Oh, let's just check out this exit already and see where it goes. I mean, just to get a point of reference, at least. We appear to be in someone's cellar. And that is the entrance that we just came from. Hmm. Their cellar where? Well, I suppose the party could check it out. Halflings? Eh? Who's this then? More intrepid fools on the road to a beating? I suppose you need the healing of some such to repair whatever damage you marched headlong into. Well, the provider provides and the provider protects, but won't you go missing up our handiwork any time soon? And stand ye away from them barrels of ale. Little man watches over all, and he'll turn you out of your ear if you damage a cork in his spiritual home. Alright, so apparently we're in a temple of Little Man, which is actually a god of the halflings. Uh, sure, we'd like to see what you have to offer. You can make a donation to the temple. There you go. Here's a bit of coin for Little Man. Alright. Apparently you can get services. I don't know, Emily. There you go. Feeling a little better now. Ooh, more potions of healing. Those are always good to buy. Extras of health, plenty of them, antidotes, and stone to flesh scrolls. Wonder how many of those Carrot actually has right now. Eh, yeah, three. It's plenty. Oh, okay. Uh, let's talk to some of the other people in here. I wish I had my own. Oh, I wish you to leave the ruins be. Who is more the fool? The man who sits idle on his old chair enjoying the sunshine, or the man who labors long for a fine new chair that he might sit in someday? And one says, Ugh, I'll leave this one to Carrot. I was never good at this kind of riddle. <laughs> Nature my and they say the same thing. Alright. There's this, that's apparently the entrance to the town. I suppose we might as well check it out while we're here. I mean, really no harm in it, I guess. Just talking to everybody. I think. Where are we? Ah, we're in Gullykin, to the north of the bridge. Didn't think the party was traveling that dungeon for that long. But, uh, apparently they were. Alright, let's see what's to the west. Olcaster School. To the north we've already been. Being... Being approached by a halfling named Alora. Hey, you're not from around here. Yeesh! There's no polish on your boots, no step in your suspenders. You're not merchants. They're always so much more presentable. Aw, oh, nut bunnies, adventurers, and gully kin. You're gonna loot them firewine runes? Uh, as a matter of fact, yes, I am. Why did you ask? says Garrett. Double good and done. Oh, it's great fun for having someone from the trade to talk to. I'm here staying with my aunt to mend my ways and all, but I'm growing just a little bit bored. Maybe we should work together. I know this place pretty good. Know a few secrets. How to pick a lock or find a booby trap. Could be fun. What say you? 